Figure 3, the lobes of the brain. A brain matures from back to the front. The cortex of the brain can be divided into several main areas based on function. The brain is divided into specialized regions for each of the senses. The area for hearing or auditory cortex is in the temporal lobes. The visual cortex is in the occipital lobes and the parietal lobes house movement and feeling in the motor and sensory cortices, respectively. Other parts of the brain have nothing to do with the senses, and the best example of this is the frontal lobes, which make up more than 40% of the human brain's total volume, more than any other animal species. The frontal lobes are the seat of our ability to generate insight, judgment, abstraction, and planning. They are the source of self-awareness and our ability to assess dangers and risk, so we use this area of the brain to choose a course of action wisely. Hence, the frontal lobes are often said to house the executive function of the human brain. A chimpanzee's frontal lobes come closest to the humans in terms of size, but still make up only around 17% of its total brain volume. A dog's frontal lobes make up just 7% of its brain. For other species, different brain structures are more important. Compared with humans, monkeys and chimpanzees have a much larger cerebellum, where control of physical coordination is honed. A dolphin's auditory cortex is more advanced than a human's, with a hearing range at least seven times that of a young adult. A dog has a billion olfactory cells in its brain, compared with our measly 12 million. And the shark has a special scales, cells in its brain that help it detect electrical fields, not to navigate, but to pick up electrical signals given off by the scantest of muscle movements in other fish as they try to hide from this deadly predator. We humans don't have a lot else going for us other than our wile and wit. Our competitive edge is our ingenuity, brains over brawn. This edge happens to take the longest time to develop, as the connectivity to and from the frontal lobes is the most complex and is the last to fully mature. This executive function thus develops slowly. We certainly are not born with it.